I, I seldom mention other directors' uh, film because I don't want to uh, uh, put any kind of opinion to that because making a film is really difficult. No matter how bad or how good the film is, it's really difficult to make a film. So I seldom criticize people making films because I knew how difficult it is, frame by frame, put together, and then put it on the screen. It's not easy at all. So um, as to John Wu, uh, unfortunately, he made uh, my uh, discharged prisoner, uh, the story of my uh, discharged prisoner, and people were always saying, oh, you are copying from Long Kong, you are learning from Long Kong. That's not fair, that's not fair. We, 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 we better uh, leave him alone. <laughs> now, he's a very famous director now. We should respect him more. And uh, I I'm, I'm really, I'm really respect him a lot uh, because at least he's famous in the world now. In the world, in the business world. So it's, it's our pride, uh, Hong Kong movie's pride, right? So, so it's good, no matter we copy it or not, never mind. But funny thing is, this, this the story of this charge prisoner, you, are, you can see it from 4 o'clock, huh? 4 o'clock something. The, the people just love my, my, my old film. This actually is like 40 years ago. John Woo made it after 18, 20 years. And nowadays, there are two group of people making my movie again. <laughs> one is in Hong Kong, one is in Korea. I don't know how good it is, but they are still doing it. <laughs> I, I, can, I can hardly criticize anything or say anything, but I don't know why they still love my old film. And, and, and they even dare to mention, this is Long Kong's very famous film. <laughs> when, they, when they are releasing it, they actually mention my name without my... <laughs> <laughs> without my permission. <laughs> but I, I love them. I, I said, go, 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 go ahead, go ahead, don't mind me. As far as you can make money, go ahead, don't mind me. Yes. Mm. In the Korea, the one, he said, we are making John Woo's. Uh, Affected tomorrow. Uh, the, the, the story of this, this transmission. In the Hong Kong group, he said, we are making Long Gong's, the, the story of fiction. And as a matter of fact, John Woo's, the story of this prisoner is Long Kong's uh, story of prisoner. All this, the, all this story of prisoners is mine. <laughs> <laughs> no John Woo, no Korea, no Hong Kong. <laughs> right? I'm just making jokes. Yes, yes, don't yes, quote yes. it. Don't, don't quote, quote it. it. <laughs> don't quote. Don't even quote it. Yes. When Long Kong make a picture, I always do my own script writing. I, I write my own scripts. Before I wrote my scripts, I always make a lot of researches to find out oh, what's what first. And then I write it down. So you said you haven't seen my script yet. I, my script is this big. So they always joke with Long Gong's script. They say, look at this, see this script, it looks like a yellow pages, phone book. <laughs> so, what I want to tell you is, I put down everything which I will shoot in the future, the script. So before, before doing the film, this script will send to the office. And the boss, of course, will read those scripts. All right? So after they read it, is it okay? Okay, then I make it. So there's no... Not, no question like what you are asking, whether they will believe me or trust me. Of course they trust me. Otherwise, they, how would they will give me the money to make it? It's a, a hell of a lot of money <laughs> making a film, you know, no matter when. Okay, all right. Beginning with the, uh, the, such, the story of the such prisoner, there's only about um, 10,000 euro <laughs> by that time. <laughs> Now, <laughs> and then Hiroshima 28, it's about um, 50,000 euros. You know, so gradually it's getting higher and higher. 
But still, there's a lot of money making films. Nowadays, is wow, billions of dollars we are spending. The la last month, I went back to Hong Kong. There's a boss offered me, I'll give you two billion to five billion if you come back and make a picture. And I say, thank you very much. You keep your money. I better have a better life <laughs> than making pictures. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you, 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 you heard of Cecil Tong. Heard of him? Tong Su Sui. The, 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 the female director who directed The Arch, Dong Fu Ren. Okay? That, that, that's the film director. When she was doing that, <coughs> that, making that film in Hong Kong, <coughs> she couldn't start it. Then my, my teacher, called Chen Jian. Chen Kim. Then he, he said, oh, you can never do things in Hong Kong. You don't know, you should tell the Tang Shi Suan. Then she sent me over and helped her to, you know, get ready and all this work. Then after I get her settled down and everything, I go back, I went back to my own company. Now, this Tang Shi Suan's elderly, elderly brother is called David Tom. David Xu Kuan, David, okay? He's the boss of the mass, Love Massacres. Mm -hmm. He is the boss. And then one day he phoned me, he said, please help me. I said, what do you want? He said, I want to make a film. Will you please come and help me? I said, okay. Okay, only one. <laughs> All right. So, so uh, I really take in charge of the whole film for him. And fortunately, uh, I, 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 I promised him to do that. Otherwise, he would be in great trouble. When, when the whole team sent to San Francisco, um, they did almost like one third of the film in this uh, San Francisco University. And suddenly, the script writer tell the story to, to the school administration. And then the administration said, what? You are killing all these people in my university? Get out, get out! <laughs> One third of film. <laughs> so, so I have to throw over and do everything all over again. And then until the last shot, until the last shot, I say, cut? When, the, when Tam, Tam Ka Ming say, cut, the last shot, okay, now. I say, I'm going back to Hong Kong now. Anything after this, you people have to pay for it. <laughs> I won't pay. <laughs> and I go there and sit on the brain. <laughs> and then I just watch, looking at my watch. The last minute they come, <laughs> they, they, they come to the same flight and we go back. We went back to Hong Kong. That's the story. Yeah. So then after that, then I tell David, which is the boss, who is the boss, and I tell him, don't ever do films again. <laughs> if I won't do it, but you are not going to do it too. Don't do it. Don't ever touch it. That's it. <laughs> this is, otherwise, I say you. I, I ask him, do you know how to print money? Do you know how to print money or draw? Otherwise, you don't touch the film. <laughs> Joking with him. Yes. I don't see there's any problem. It doesn't mean I must do the good part. No, <laughs> no, it doesn't mean that. In the film, you saw Long Gong there, he's only an actor. It doesn't represent Long Gong. He's an actor, all right? And then you see the film, the theory, that's the director. That's Long Gong, director Long Gong. That's looking at the, seeing the film. That's not director Long Gong. That's the actor Long Gong. <laughs> Separate that. Then you will understand. So, so you won't con you won't have you won't find all these conflicts or confusions in, in this this thing. Yeah, many people. Yeah, many very famous critic wrote about this too. Say this guy, funny guy. He's believing in this and he's acting in the other side. She, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? So they may they might thought. I should represent what I say, what I say, or what I want to tell. No, no, not necessary, not necessary. <laughs> All right?